Okay. <clears throat> so um, I want to start talking about chapter seven. And the way I want to do it is it, it's, it's not exactly following. It's not going to follow Griffith. I, I am going to try to incorporate Griffith as we go along. But some of the things that he does is very detailed. And I'm going to pull back a little bit on that. So don't be surprised if it doesn't run exactly how Griffiths runs it. Are we okay? Okay, so let's begin. So first things first, types of materials. How many different types of materials are there? When we're talking about electricity and magnetism, we can basically divide them into three categories. Conductors, insulators, and semiconductors. What are conductors? Conductors are those materials that have movable charge. And when I say charge, I mean electrical charge. Insulators are those materials in which electrons are bound to atoms and are not free to move. Semiconductors are those materials in which one out of about 10 to the 10 to 10 of the 12 atoms will contribute an electron to the material. for flow. So for our case, because we are talking about electricity, we will mostly focus on conductors. And a good example of a conductor is copper. 